Unrailed, a cooperative online game in which players collaborate to build a railway track through an unlimited number of procedurally created worlds, will be free to download from Epic's PC Store from August 4th to August 11th. This game will replace Lawn Mowing Simulator, which may be downloaded for free until August 4th. Stay tuned to find out all we know about when it will be released. Let's dive into details concerning the video game Unrailed. The PC version of Lawn Mowing Simulator received a Metacritic score of 69 out of 100, and it is currently available on Steam for £14.99 or £11.99. The game was released for the first time in August of 2021. According to the game's product description, players will be able to experience the beauty and detail of mowing the great British countryside in Lawn Mowing Simulator, the only simulator that allows you to ride an authentic and expansive roster of real-world licensed lawn mowers from prestigious manufacturers as you manage your business. Lawn Mowing Simulator, the only simulator of its type, will allow players to do so. In addition, while running their business, players will be able to ride a realistic and large roster of real-world licensed lawn mowers from famous manufacturers. While the game is under development, this functionality will be accessible. The Epic Games Store distributed 89 free games in 2019, bringing the total value of such giveaways down to $2,120 from 103 the previous year. According to Epic, by 2021, gamers will have claimed over 765 million of the company's free games. Earlier today, Amazon revealed the next batch of free games that will be available to Prime gaming members. Amazon first launched these titles. Customers with an Amazon Prime membership get new PC games and unique in-game content on a monthly basis as part of the Prime gaming feature, which is included with the subscription and is free. StarCraft, Remastered, Zack McCracken, and the Alien Mindbenders, Beasts of Maravilla Island, Recompile, Scourgebringer, and Family Mysteries Poisonous Promises will all be accessible for free throughout the month of August. Moving on, the free Xbox Live games with gold for the month of August have been announced. Calico, which regularly costs £11.99 or £9.99, will be free for users to grab on Xbox One and Xbox Series XS from August 1st through August 31st. From the 16th of August to the 15th of September, you will be able to download Scourgebringer for free. This game regularly costs £16.99 or £14.24. Saints Row 2, a game for the Xbox 360 that typically costs £9.99 or £8.99, will be made available for free to Xbox Live Gold users from August 1st to 15th. The Xbox 360 game Monaco, What's Yours is Mine, which typically costs £14.99 or £9.99, will be available for free. Download from August 16th through August 31st. As part of the Xbox Games with Gold lineup for the month of July, members have until the end of the month to download Beasts of Maravilla Island and Torchlight, and they have until August 15th to claim Relicta. Relicta is available to claim until the end of the month. Microsoft has stated that Xbox Games with Gold will no longer feature Xbox 360 games, starting in October 2022. This announcement was made earlier this month. According to a statement that was sent to VGC by a spokeswoman for Microsoft, we are continuously exploring ways to adapt the Xbox experience based on community involvement, feedback, and evolving business priorities. Due to license and technological restrictions, we are unable to add any more titles to the library from the past at this time. We have maxed our capacity for doing so. Our primary emphasis will be on expanding the catalog of games available for download via the Games with Gold program on Xbox One. Following that, during a tech session, a new sequence from Hogwarts Legacy was shown to attendees. The Autodesk Vision Series is a presentation series hosted by the software business Autodesk, in which game creators demonstrate how Autodesk software is utilized during creation. One of these presentations, which took place on Wednesday, looked at how Autodesk Maya and Motion Builder are used to bring the cinematics of Hogwarts Legacy to life. A new sequence was displayed as part of the presentation, in which two students see dark wizards trying to confine a hippogriff. The presentation also included a peek at the tools used by the development team to design characters in the game, as well as an additional look at the in-game character creation interface. The release date for Hogwarts Legacy is currently unknown. However, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment says it will be towards the end of 2022. An official art book for the game received an updated release date of December 6th last week, which could hint at a potential release date, given that Warner Brothers' other major game this year, Gotham Knights, has a similar art book due out on the game's October 
25th release date. While official information about Hogwarts Legacy has been scarce, enthusiastic fans have been pouring through old video and the game's official website in search of any fresh details. One fan even discovered secret files on the Hogwarts Legacy website, exposing the contents of the game's collectors and deluxe editions. Hogwarts Legacy was initially intended to be released in 2021 for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, and PC under Warner's Portkey Games banner. However, Warner Brothers delayed the game's release date to 2022 last year. Up next, Season 1 of Multiverses and Morty has been postponed. The intended debut of Season 1 on August 9th and with it the inclusion of Morty from Rick and Morty as the next playable character has been pushed back to an uncertain date, according to a thread posted by the official Multiverses Twitter account. A huge thank you to everyone who is playing Multiverses, the message says. It's great to see so many gamers enjoying the game, and the open beta launch is just the beginning. We'd like to inform everyone that the commencement of Season 1 and the release of Morty have been postponed. We understand that this may be disheartening for some, and we want to reassure our community that we are committed to providing new and innovative content that excites players. We'll let you know the exact date and time as soon as we can. We appreciate your patience and excitement, and we hope to reveal season one very soon. Due to the season one delay, we will be extending the preseason battle pass until August 15th, it said. The in-game finish day will not change. However, the battle pass will be available after August 8th through August 15th. Warner Brothers Games earlier stated that season one will begin on August 9th, and Morty would be added as the game's 18th playable character on the same day. It was also revealed that his animated counterpart, Rick, will be joining the cast at some point during season one's run. This delay seems to have no effect on the sequence in which these characters are published, but it obviously lengthens the wait for Rick and Morty fans, not to mention multiverses gamers who have already completed the preseason battle pass and are waiting for season one to begin. Finally, the free games for August with Amazon Prime Gaming have been revealed. Members of Prime Gaming, a service that includes new PC games to retain as well as special in-game content at no extra cost with an Amazon Prime subscription, get new games on a monthly basis. Members of Prime Gaming also get access to special in-game stuff. StarCraft, Remastered, Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, Beasts of Maravilla Island, Recompile, Scoresbringer, and Family Mysteries Poisonous Promises will be the free games that consumers may download and play on Amazon.com for the month of August 2022. Prime Gaming users will get access to these six new games beginning August 1st. As part of Prime Gaming, the titles Maniac Mansion, Suzerain, Fishing North Atlantic and Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark are available for free this month. You will have till the end of the month to test out any of these games. Furthermore, Amazon Prime Gaming customers will get access to free in-game material drops for a range of games, including Pokemon Go, Fall Guys, Roblox, League of Legends, and Two Point Hospital, among others, during the month of August. Members of the Prime Gaming program received free copies of more than 30 different games as part of the celebrations surrounding Amazon Prime Day in July. According to Amazon, Prime Gaming subscribers in 2021 will get access to over 100 free games and over 675 in-game promotions. Prime Gaming members also get first access to new games. According to Josh Dodson, Prime Gaming's Director of Business Development and Operations, this content was worth more than $21,600 to each Prime customer. Prime Gaming contributed this information. According to Amazon, Prime members took advantage of more than 420 million bargains and 80 million free games in the previous year. The last segment of our broadcast for today has now ended. We really hope you had a good time. Make sure you click the subscribe button on your way out of the page. We appreciate you watching.